Hey everybody, welcome back to No Bullshit Reviews. Today, I'm going to talk to you about a small budget sci-fi action movie I like. It's called The Gene Generation, directed by Perry, I believe? P Perry Reginald Teo. You may recall that I discussed this on an episode of Mostly Movies with guest Takeo. The Gene Generation follows Bailene as Michelle, who is an assassin contracted to kill DNA hackers, people who rewrite and reintroduce DNA sequences to their own advantage to make it in this dystopian sci-fi future they live in. She's doing these jobs so she can raise money, so she and her younger brother Jackie, played by Perry Shen, can move to a better living situation. However, Jackie's addiction to gambling lends him in massive debt to a loan shark, and in his desperation to pay it off, Jackie steals the original DNA sequencer prototype, which leads to it being hunted for by its creators, one of whom is now a genetic disaster, played by Faye Dunaway, the other wanting to keep it from ever being used again. Now, as I said at the top, this is not a big-budget blockbuster. It's a low-budget, straight-to-video sci-fi flick. Don't go in expecting excellence. There are some pretty good moments in it, though. Specifically, Perry Shen's performance is absolutely fantastic for what this film is. His portrayal of Jackie feels layered and nuanced, and I find it heartbreaking that Perry hasn't gone on to be a huge star. The aesthetic, very reminiscent of Ghost in the Shell and Blade Runner, feels a bit too influenced by said films, and without the budget to truly implement it, should fall flat, but manages to keep from feeling like children playing dress-up. How it does that, I cannot explain, but there is a unity to it visually, and the style is confident enough in itself to feel somewhat grounded. As a hoplophile, I particularly liked some of the guns in the film. They're props you don't typically see, like Michelle's Pardini pistols and Jackie's CZ-100. Which, by the way, was used in the original Ghost in the Shell anime. I also appreciated that there were at least a couple of scenes that utilized blanks, which is rare for a film of this style and budget. Of course, it's not a perfect film, Alec Newman's performance is kinda flat, but again, for what it is, there are some really fun performances in this flick. Perry Teo seems to be a decent low-budget director whose specialty is stretching tiny budgets fairly far. For reference, he's in the category of low-budget that he manages his own YouTube account, and if you look through his account, he has some decent stuff out there. If I had to compare him to someone else, I'd compare him to a young Paul W.S. Anderson, Event Horizon era, and I like that era of Paul W.S. Anderson. Tio's films are quite obviously labors of love, and probably are quite laborious. He currently seems to be being tapped by the sci-fi channel often, and hopefully he can do some higher budget stuff sooner rather than later. 